Hey everyone, welcome back to the Whiskey Bugger. I am Will, and today I'm gonna to be talking about dry flies on the South Holston River in East Tennessee. I had an opportunity to go out with a buddy who goes every year with a group of guys to the South Holston River right outside of Bristol, Tennessee, and get into some trout out there. I hadn't had a lot of experience throwing dry flies for trout. I'd, I'd done midge fishing, I'd done dry droppers, indicator fishing, things like that. Uh, mostly to stalker rainbows around here, but it was my first opportunity to really get out there, throw some dry flies, get in some really technical water, and try my hand at it. Did pretty well, caught a mess of brown trout and a couple rainbows as well. It was my first time ever catching brown trout, so I was really excited about that. Felt really accomplished over the weekend and had a great time with some great folks. So that's what you're gonna see in this video. And then after uh, some fishing, you're gonna see a review that I'm gonna do right back here in this room of some whiskey. So I didn't have any while I was out there to review. I did take some Thomas H. Handy from a few years back and a single barrel pick of Four Roses that uh, Oak and Thieves did. So the barrel club I have with uh, the Grease from the podcast and Bob and James from BS and Bourbon, but shared those with the folks out there, had a good time, but I didn't really have time to cut a review or anything while I was out there. So I'll come back in here, I'll tie it in, to the theme of dry flies on the South Holston River. If you like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, I appreciate it, and let's go watch some fishing. Got him. Another brown. Yeah, he's big. He's pretty big. Huh. This one's pretty good too. That's a pretty good fish. Yes. 
That's a good, that's a good fish. Yeah. Well, let me see your happy face. All right, hope you enjoyed that little bit of fishing. Uh, obviously didn't capture everything and didn't show you everything, but was able to get a few good, good uh, filming, a few good catches that I could show. Um, it, it was a lot of fun and I learned a lot and challenged myself quite a bit. So I look forward to going back there and I encourage everyone to go check out South Holston River and also go to the South Holston River fly shop. They were really knowledgeable, really kind, pointed us in the right direction for which flies and, and what time hatches were hatching and things like that. And it was just a real blast. But now I'm gonna review Dry Fly Distilling Specialty Barrel. This is a seven year straight Washington wheat whiskey out of Dry Fly Distilling in Spokane, Washington. Uh, distilled in Spokane, so this is their own distillate, aged seven years and it's cast strength at uh, 132.83 proof. So a lot of alcohol on this one, but they've got really cool branding as well. Um, you know, their their logo is a little, little Dry Fly. Um, they have uh, embossed in the in the bottle a trout, really cool proprietary bottle. It even says dry fly down at the bottom. Really, really a cool bottle. Uh, but a, a bunch of these started hitting in our area, these specialty barrels, and they're all very high proof, all over 60% alcohol. Most are into the 130s. But they're also only about 60 bucks, and it's wheat whiskey that has some really good age on it. Like you don't see a ton of age on wheat whiskeys like that. You also just don't see a ton of straight wheat whiskeys. So if you're familiar with like the Weller brands, those are weeded bourbons. So they still have a majority corn, over 51%. This, the majority grain is wheat. So that's what makes it different than uh, a Weller um, product that you see. So this, it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna have some different notes that you're not necessarily familiar with, but definitely more sweet. Since the rye isn't really a factor, it's not gonna have that spice. But I'm gonna get into this and tell you what I think. Already on the nose, a lot of caramel. Sweet, sweet caramel. <laughs> not, but the alcohol isn't aggressive. E even at 132 proof, it's not like, oh man, this is gonna be a lot. It, 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 it feels like it's mellowed enough, so. Man, that's really good. A lot of sweetness, but not like corn, not corny. A little bit of graininess there, some licorice which on the finish, which is interesting. But all around, that's just a ton of concentrated flavor in that 132 proof whiskey. I really like this. Uh, look out for these, they're only about $60. High proof, very unique, small company, distilled and aging it themselves. So. It's a true craft product. Uh, if you're looking for a wheat whiskey, the probably the most familiar one is Bernheim. I think it's also seven years, but I think it's 90 proof, so much lower proof. But if you kind of want to understand what's going on in that world, try Bernheim. That's in pretty much every liquor store. Also age dated seven years. But then I think they came out with a Bernheim cast strength, which I've had, and I much prefer this to Bernheim cast strength. This is just a has a far cleaner taste, less grain, and, and just uh, less earthy. Sometimes those Heaven Hill products, even the sweeter ones, have a real earthiness to them. This one's good. I really like this. I'd pick it up all day long for $60. Look out for them. I've got another one in there that's even higher proof, but that it's not punching you in the face. It's got a good mellowness to it. The wheat is soft, so it, it kind of helps control the alcohol a little bit, but because it is so high proof, the concentration of flavors is just so good. Um, I really like that there was a theme, the dry fly tying in with the dry flies on the South Holston River. So check these guys out. Also go fishing, uh, leave a comment below about what you're getting into this summer. It's hot out there. So you going after some bass right now, or are you trying to go find some tailwater fish like I did this past weekend? Go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel. If you like it, I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you next time here on Whiskey Bugger.